takeoffs and landings. Outsize cargo bay. Over twice the productivity of the C-130. Jet speed. Extended range. All of these benefits and more in the McDonnell Douglas YC-15 AMST. McDonnell Douglas designed, fabricated, and developed the YC-15 with a specially organized and dedicated X-Shop team. YC-15 number one made its first flight on 26 August 1975, eight months ahead of schedule and under budget. On December 5th, 1975, YC-15 number two made its first flight, 10 months ahead of schedule and under budget. As a result of the inherently simple YC-15 design, within days of their first flights, both aircraft were conducting slow speed flights and stole operations, proving that a high technology stole capability can be achieved simply and reliably. The blown flap propulsive lift proved highly effective for stole landings and takeoffs. Loading of outsize army equipment was conducted in the wide body YC-15. The rugged single strut landing gear allowed the YC-15 to operate into unimproved 2,000 foot dirt strips. The landing gear also has the ability to operate on rough terrain, which was demonstrated by running over obstacles up to takeoff and landing speeds with no adverse effects. The reliable single stroke thrust reverser, in addition to its effective braking capability, was used routinely to back the aircraft throughout the YC-15 test program. Because the thrust reverser deflects the thrust up and forward, there is no ingestion of dirt strip debris. Ground troops are not exposed to jet blast while the engines are operating. The reliability of this four engine design with multiple electrical and hydraulic systems in the C-15 is exceptional. Inherently simple and redundant, the C-15 will be able to complete its missions as planned. Three engine takeoffs and landings were made with great success. The YC-15 requires no interactive systems for engine out recovery and has demonstrated its ability to make stole landings with all stability augmentation systems inoperative. has excellent maneuverability for the combat environment. Airdrops. Dirt field landings. Spiraling descent. Ground maneuverability deep climb out. The YC-15 has what it takes to operate in the ground combat environment. The basic flight test program was completed in August 1976, logging 473 flight hours in 12 months. 
Because the design and development of the YC-15 was accomplished well within budget and ahead of schedule, additional fly-before-buy prototype work to enhance the operational capability of the C-15 was initiated. A larger wing to increase range without resorting to external fuel was built for installation on ship number one. This new wing will allow the C-15 to carry much greater payloads for the 2600 mile mission using internal fuel only rather than cumbersome external tanks. In addition, a GE Snecma CFM-56 high bypass advanced technology engine was installed. In September, while YC-15 number one was being fitted with the big wing and advanced technology engine, the YC-15 number two flew nonstop from Long Beach, California to Mildenhall, England, demonstrating worldwide deployment. The aerial refueling system of the YC-15 provides the overall flexibility for increasing payload and range for tactical missions and possible strategic missions. After spectacular daily flight demonstrations at the Farnborough Air Show, the aircraft proceeded to Germany and then made a tour of Air Force bases in the US. This single prototype aircraft made 46 scheduled flights with a dispatch reliability of over 97% during its month-long tour, proving the outstanding reliability of the four-engine YC-15. Prior to the end of 1976, a tour of Army and Air Force bases in the United States further demonstrated the YC-15 capability to carry and load outsized vehicles under operational conditions. January 1977 saw a Pratt & Whitney JT-8D-209 engine installed on the YC-15 number two. This refanned version of the rugged JT-8D offers lower noise levels, better fuel specifics, and more thrust. In mid-February, ship number one began development testing of the larger wing and the GE Snecma CFM-56 engine. The airplane immediately began slow speed flight tests to check the flying characteristics of the YC-15 with the new wing. These tests showed again the excellent flying characteristics of the basic YC-15 design. The CFM-56 engine also proved compatible with stole operations. Performance of the YC-15 with the new wing extends its potential as a long range strategic airlifter while maintaining outstanding stole capabilities. A control stick installation in ship number one is being evaluated by Air Force and contractor pilots, and if proven acceptable, may be an alternative to the wheel configuration. In some combat situations, the stick is more desirable. For example, for improved pilot's visibility. Ship number two took to the air in early March to verify the compatibility of the JT-8D-209 engine with stole operations. The advanced 209 engine, like its predecessor, the JT-8D-17, proved highly compatible with the YC-15. Installed in ship number two was an advanced technology digital stability and control augmentation system thereby permitting a side-by-side -side comparison with the previously flown analog system. This new system offers additional capabilities, including an autopilot and a flight director mode. The digital SCAS system proved to be highly reliable and proved its flexibility during the flight test program. The YC-15 has proved to be an effective, highly reliable, versatile stole aircraft capable of assuming many roles. The YC-15 can operate in environments and from areas no large conventional aircraft has been able to operate from before.
its jet speed increases the productivity over present-day turboprop transports. The engine options offered provide the capability to meet present and future airlift requirements. The YC-15 is being evaluated to determine if it can be used to refuel tactical aircraft or other C-15s. The YC-15 prototype fly before buy program has proven that a follow-on operational C-15 can meet the requirements of tactical transport and provide an option to strategic augmentation. The C-15 is designed for low life cycle costs. It is simple, rugged, flexible, reliable, and easily maintainable. It has what it takes for the tactical world. After almost two years of extensive flight test and operational development, the YC-15 is ready for full-scale engineering development. The C-15, the AMST, star of the future.